Okay, in this clip we're going to talk about metadata, which is a little misunderstood. But uh, we're going to the recorder here. Now remember, metadata works between the camera and the recorders. So your camera has to push out metadata, and your recorder has to be able to see metadata at the same time. So setting up metadata uh, is just like setting up motion detection. So you want to go to your event area inside of the recorder, go to your site alarm, and turn your site alarm to on, like we have here now. And then you want to go to the schedule, and under the daily program, you want to have your Panasonic alarm protocol turned on so that uh, it's accepting that data that's coming in. Now you will notice a little bit difference here if you set up motion detection and that in your programming if you remember under motion detection we had our pre and post alarm on NW44 set up. So this is recording on motion so it's only recording this pre and this post alarm. Whereas on this camera number two, where we're going to set up meta metadata, it is recording all the time. So it is important to know as well that with metadata, even though this box will do 64 cameras for recording, if you turned on metadata on every single camera, you would only be able to do 32 cameras at that point. So let's see now the actual cameras. So now we're accepting these alarms in. Uh, and it's scheduled to record all the time. And now we're going to actually go to the camera to turn on metadata. So again, this is a lot like motion detection in the fact that that is what you're doing. You're going to do motion detection after the fact. So we'll go admin, one, two, three, four, five. And same thing as in motion, we're going to go to our alarm setup and we're going to go to the VMD alarm area here. Now on the VMD alarm area, you'll notice I don't have any motion turned on, so I don't have any boxes drawn to show us where that motion is going to be because we're recording this camera all the time. But what I do have on is the information added or VMD information added, which is metadata. Now that that's turned on, we come to our notification, and just like with motion, we're going to turn on our alarm protocol, hit set, and then we're going to turn on our alarm and send it to the IP address of our recorder, which in this case is 192.168.0.250, and hit set. So now we're adding information into this video, and we're sending it back to the recorder. So let's see why we're doing that. We're doing that because this camera is recording 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. And it's this camera here, this NF302. So now though, if I go to the control panel and I do a search, you'll see the second part of the search is VMD search. If I click on the VMD search, it brings up this camera and now I can actually draw an area on the screen and say, well, let me delete that, that's a little big, and say, I'm interested in motion in this area right here. And what it's going to do is look for motion on the recorded video that I've recorded basically the whole entire time. So if we come in here and we look from 2 o'clock so let's say 6 o'clock, and we hit OK. Now it's going to come up, and it's basically going to show me when video was in front of that area. So if I click on here, it's going to basically show the motion of that time. And there I am walking around. So it's finding motion after the fact on the recorder. If we looked at our list, we can see this as well. Because when we look at our list here, and we look at camera number two, which is the one with metadata, we can see it's on a scheduled recording 
as opposed to camera number three, which is basically only recording on motion. So after this motion has gone by, it stops recording after that fact. So that's the difference between metadata and recording on motion. You either use one or the other uh, in your recording.